Welcome and thank you for joining this session. In this tutorial, we will look at a comparison between two types of content, one of which is the 3D part and the other is the physical product. On the left half of the screen is a 3D part content. The identification symbol of a 3D part is a blue block with an L-shaped profile. The geometry information of this 3D part is contained within the 3D shape container and that has four features defined in it. On the right half of the screen, the same geometry with the same number of features is represented, but in this case, the 3D shape container is within the physical product container. The identification symbol of a physical product is a white block with one quarter of it colored blue. As seen with these two examples, when representing a single part, the 3D part and the physical product content types can be used interchangeably to represent the same information. However, a physical product content can include additional information which a 3D part cannot. For example, you can have a physical product that has multiple instances of 3D parts added under it. This would be representative of an assembly of parts. Using the assembly design app on the 3D experience platform, you can position and orient instances of these parts relative to each other in a global coordinate system. Similarly, you can have a physical product with other physical products instanced under it. This would be representative of an assembly of sub-assemblies. Using the assembly design app, you can now position and orient instances of these sub-assemblies related to each other in a global coordinate system. A physical product can have other structure as well. This one is worth noting where a physical product contains a 3D shape container, a physical product that is a sub-assembly, and a 3D part. In this type of assembly tree structure, the 3D shape cannot be repositioned or reoriented. Rather, the other instances, for example, the sub-assembly and the 3D part can be positioned and reoriented with respect to each other and with respect to the 3D shape. In conclusion, the physical product is derived from the 3D part content. Thus, any usage of the 3D part content can be replaced by a physical product content. This brings us to the conclusion of our tutorial. Thank you for attending.